All right, everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So I have here some windows that we just took out of my girlfriend's house. These are single pane and we upgraded to double pane windows. But I noticed that they actually would work perfectly for these solar cells that I bought. I mean, the cells don't fit super tight. You can see there's quite a bit of space in between them, so it won't be that efficient, but I got the window for free. The cells themselves are factory defects that I got off eBay. And they got little chips and stuff, but it doesn't really affect their usefulness to me. I think I got 500 of them for $100, so they were pretty cheap. The first step is to tin the surface of the solar cells so that I can stick the tabbing wire to it more easily. Basically, I just stuck small beads of solder to the connection points. The tabbing wire is just thin copper wire that has been pre-tinned with solder. This makes it very easy to just uh, stick it to the solar cells where I want it to go. Just uh, heat it up with the torch, melt the bead of solder that I previously adhered, and uh, there it is. It's uh, ready to be used. Now that I have the tabbing wire soldered onto all the solar cells, it's time to lay them out onto the glass in the position that they'll be. Unfortunately, my camera stopped recording while I was soldering them. Each cell is basically like a five volt battery, and you need to solder enough of them together in series so that you can make up 20 volts or so. Now that it's all soldered, I lift it up so that light can get up underneath of it to the cells, and I check the voltage to make sure that the solar panel actually still works. I get about 13 volts here, which is not as high as I would hope the solar panel would get, but it makes sense for the position that's in. Since I determined the cells were hooked up correctly, I now tape them down to the glass. This was to stop the resin from getting underneath of them and blocking light. I actually kind of wish I wouldn't have done this step, but it did help keep the cells in place. Now you can see me pouring resin onto the solar panels. This will seal them from the environment, keep water and stuff from getting in on them and to hold them in place. I, this is fiberglass resin. You can see I'm using a little bit of fiberglass batting to secure the edges. This was by far the most expensive step in making the solar panel. But here it is, it's all glued down. It was kind of a cold day, so I'm using a heating blanket to help warm it up and make it so that the fiberglass will cure faster. Unfortunately, by the time the resin finally cured, the sky had already become cloudy and overcast, but I should be able to still test the panel. There, about 19 volts. Very nice. Maximum amperage. What is that? Five, five amps. 100 watts. Nice. All right, so that solar panel will probably be used in many of my future projects. This is my third solar panel I've built. I'll put links to other videos which have uh, my own homemade solar panels somewhere around. I definitely believe I'm getting better every time I do it. Eventually, maybe I'll have something that's equivalent to a commercial solar panel. I'm still buying solar cells from eBay. You know, these are just uh, defect ones, like I've mentioned before. They're super cheap, and really then the labor and the becomes more expensive than the actual things. Eventually, I'd like to be able to make these too, though. I, I know how to make them, but I just, I'm not set up for it. I, uh, the equipment needed to make these is much more elaborate than I currently have. Perhaps if my Patreon account uh, gets lots and lots of funding, I'll be able to do such things as being able to make my own solar cells from scratch, which would be awesome and uh, quite possible. I'll put a link to my Patreon account uh, somewhere uh, here or in the description. Now, uh, this is probably my last video before finals week. I have another video recorded, so I think I'm going to be pretty okay. So there's just going to be one video for this next week. And then after that, I hope to have lots and lots of videos because I have Christmas break and I intend to at least film one video per day. So it should be pretty interesting. I got lots of stuff planned. You can got me a little mascot here. <laughs> yeah. This is False the Rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time.